graduates, congratulations, and mabuhay. Maraming salamat po. Pleasant morning to everyone. It is always a great pride and honor to be given the task of introducing a person who is not only worthy of emulation because of her achievements in life, but mostly because she was once like us. She built her dreams inside the school. She is a living inspiration to the young ones. We are so lucky that she really find a way to be with us despite of the distance and our hectic schedules. Today, she will share with us her story and inspire us to work hard to achieve our dreams, no matter how difficult the road may be. Our guest of honor and speaker exalted a character, her quality, that made her unique, which manifested by all her achievements in the field she had chosen. She finished primary education at Baclaran Elementary Central School, her secondary education at Perpetual Cavite Institute. Also took a vocational course, basic secretarial at Oroyo High School, Tap Avenue, Manila. As a young professional, she has full of dreams just like any one of us. That is why she took Bachelor of Elementary Education, a specialization in health education at Philippine Normal University. She continued her studies and finished Master of Arts in Education, major in Educational Management at Dalasol University, Das Marinas. She took up her graduate studies at Western Colleges Incorporated, Nae Cavite, and finished Doctor in Education, major in Educational Management. She did not stop dreaming because she believes that to pursue a higher education is an important weapon to become efficient and effective public servant. She also attended numerous seminars and trainings from 2018 up to present. She also got the first place award in essay writing contest in 1996 and 2019 division level. She was also awarded as the municipal outstanding teacher in 1995 and the most influential PSDS 2021 Science Fair. After those hardships, she is successful enough and had been working teacher three from January 1997 to September 2005 and promoted to head teacher three at Bagong Pook Elementary School from September 2005 to January 2008 and had been promoted as Principal 1 at Bagong Pook Elementary School from February 2008 to January 2013, and Principal 2 in three different schools from February 2013 to November 2018. She was a very workaholic and had proven her worth again as she was working as public school's big district supervisor from November 2018 to June 2020, and presently an EPS SDOD at DepEd Cavite Province. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you our beloved guest of honor and speaker, Dr. Gregoria S. Atas. Please give her a big round of applause. You may take a seat. Anyway, thank you, Miss J.B. Alberto. So, to the principal, uh, to the board of directors, to the faculty staff and the non-teaching personnel, to all the teachers who are wearing green, to the graduating students, to the parents and guardians, a pleasant day to everyone. So, every one of us has its own memories to remember. Siguro yung sa introduction ni Ma'am sa akin kanina, parang naalala ko rin yung mga araw ko nung ako ay katulad nyo din, na ako ay gagraduate. 
Today, we cherish the fruit of your hard work. Diba? And um, for many years of difficulties, kasi ang mag-aral talaga ay hindi biro. Diba? Kung sa kasabihan ng mga parents, ang magpalaki ng anak ay hindi biro. So, I think, gusto niyo rin sabihin, aba, mami at daddy, ang mag-aral ngayon ay hindi biro. For some difficult times, it can be in terms of learning lessons, complying with the school activities or projects, but for others, it's the difficult of adap adapting to the new system of learning modality. Siyempre, nasa millennial na tayo, and we experience online, blended, or face-to-face -face learning. Some of you survive. Nabawasan ba sila? <laughs> I hope not. And some didn't. And somehow in your life, as a learner, you once asked, which is better? Alin nga ba ang mas madali? When you were physically present in a school for your study, or you are just inside your home in your air conditioning room, studying alone. But then, if you weigh in, both of these set up, had their advantages and disadvantages. And I know a lot of, uh, a lot of our parents experience this so. Siyempre, yung iba sa inyo noon, nung time ng pandemic, ang ibang magulang, because of our lessons in this K-12, to siguro inasam na sana face-to-face -face na lang. Kasi may mga times din tayo as parents, hindi natin kayang sagutin ang mga lesson ng ating mga anak. But the most important thing is we survive. Diba? Sabihin nyo nga, survivor ako. Ay, parang ang iba, hindi sila survivor. So, but in our time, three decades ago, as Ma'am JB introduced to you, hindi ganyan ang difficulties or hardship namin. Yun sa mga magulang nyo na siguro ay kasing edad ko din. Uh, three decades ago, our problem was in financial side. But syempre, hindi nyo naman yung nararanasan kasi you are enrolled in a private school. Minsan nga, masarap na ang ulam nyo na reklamo pa kayo sa mga magulang nyo. Diba? Pero noon, Ang magkaroon ng masarap na ulam ay blessing na. So, we work hard and really hard to make our own uh, money in our pocket. Uh, siguro, minsan pag nagsisimba kayo sa mga parking area, makikita nyo, as mentioned by Ma'am JB, isa ako sa mga batang baklaran. Ako ay nagtitinda ng sampagita sa Baklaran Church at saka hindi man magandang sabihin na no, sweet steaks ticket nung panahon na may sweet steak pa o iba na kasi ngayon ang gambling. So, but I'm happy to do this, uh, to do those things kasi nag-enjoy naman ako at nakakatulong ako sa aking parents. Kaya minsan malambot ang puso ko na makita yung mga bata na natitinda ng sampagita. Kung pwede nga lang silang bilihan lahat, binili ko na. But according to our study in 2019, there were 90.9% of the Filipino children who were unable to read and understand a simple passage by the age of 10. But I hope that this is not your case. Kasi nga alam ko magaling uh, mataas naman at magagaling ang mga teacher nyo sa Sawyer and mataas naman ang standard ng school nyo. And I hope that this is not your case because you did not acquire basic literacy together with other foundation schools. Kasi pag hindi nyo yun na-acquire, you are at least. 
parang mm -hmm. i-consider -co natin you are a risk learner. This year team, the K-12 graduates, molded through a resilient, resilient educational foundation. So, alam niyo ba yung meaning ng molded? Uh, that is what we call yung hinubo, hinulma. So, sa nararakap, uh, naaangko. Uh, and I hope you you remember during your kindergarten days or in grade one, you used to play clay. Alam niyo ba yung clay? O, di ba? Minsan ang mga parents nagagalit pa kapag ang mga chikiti naglalaro ng clay kung saan-saan. But you are happy to play with it and mold it on the shape that you wanted to. Di ba? Kahit ilang saway siguro ng parents niyo, but when you are happy doing it, you continue doing it so. But when the K-12 curriculum, the lawmakers and other educational he uh, sectors help one another to make this curriculum responsive to the changing needs of time. Uh, nung panahon namin, uh, siguro ang iba sa inyong parents ay teacher, abot pa yung pro -dead or back curriculum na naging r -back. and then by this time we have this K-12 curriculum. Kaya nga po sa ating mga learners, ang pagkakaroon ng modality uh, ng ating mga ICT-assisted technology, assisted classroom instructions, ay hindi naman sinasabing pagka ba nag-face to face na tayo for the next uh, month ng August, mawawala na yung blended. Uh, hindi natin masasabing mawawala na Kasi kung mapapansin nyo po, uh, even in the public school, there were surveys na kung saan sinasagutan ng ating mga eskwelahan, ng ating mga punong guro. Ang blended learning is a part of our life. Siguro kahit bumagyo, hindi na kayo ngayon matutuwa. Diba? O kung magkaroon ng mga typhoon signal. Kasi hindi na matitigil ang pag-aaral. Because uh, the Department of Education introduced this blended learning. So kahit kayo ay nasa bahay, meron pa rin kayong online. Pwede siyang ano, ano ba gusto nyo? Asynchronous or synchronous? Yung mas nakikita nyo ba si teacher o yung recorded lang ni teacher para pwede kayo kahit nakahiga, kahit nakataas ang paa. So it depends on your setup, di ba? So, meaning to say, what we achieved and what we used to during the pandemic period will also be integrated for the succeeding years. Mawala man kayo physically sa paaralan for some uh, circumstances, tuloy pa rin ang aral. Another thing po is that an open survey was released on April 19. Uh, alam ko maraming nagsasabi sa ating mga parents, tatanggalin na ba ang K-12? Mawawala na ba siya? And this survey was released for the review of the draft revised curriculum for kindergarten to grade 10. So it was open to public groups or individuals. Um, they send feedbacks on the curriculum and I think na that's the best way from the education sector to really ask people about it. Diba? Pinupulsuhan. Ano ba ang pulso ng ating mamamayan in terms of implementing K-12 curriculum? Siguro doon sa mga nasa education sectors, medyo mas malawak ang kanilang pagbibigay ng feedback because they were the one who implemented it. But, pero sa ating mga parents, kung nakikita nyo po yung ating um, advantage or disadvantages ng implementation ng K-12 curriculum, magiging depende doon ang inyong mga magiging sagot.
And uh, I hope ay uh, nabasa niyo po yun sa Facebook kasi open ito sa atin sa public. Sabi nga po natin, ang K-12 ay nandyan na. At hindi na po ito, I think hindi na siya matatanggal. At dahil ito ay batas through the Public Act 10.533 na kung saan ito din ay tinatawag natin na uh, Enhanced Education Act of 2013 kasi doon po tayo nag-start kung K-12. Ito ay nagsasaad o nagdadagdag ng number of years on the basic education. Uh, kaya nga po tayo ay nagkaroon ng senior high school. Na minsan ay naiisip ng mga bata, sana ngayon college na ako kung walang K-12. Pero you know the preparation with you. So, kung ito man ay gusto natin matanggal or mawala, syempre po, dadaan pa rin ito sa isang proseso. Dahil ito ay isang bata. And just like building a home to, katulad natin, we make all the foundations of this home stronger by putting what needed. Kung kaya nga po ang K-12 curriculum is not only for the enrichment of the mind of your learners, Kung makikita nyo yung kanilang mga lessons, minsan magtataka ka rin. Ito ba ay inaaral nyo na ngayon? Ah, parang ito hindi namin naaral nung kami ay nasa kolehiyo na. Parang yun. So, um, hindi lang siya yung intellectual area. Uh, but also, the value enhancement among learners to foster, uh, alam nyo po yun, Hindi lang naman basta nilalagay sa card yung ating mga core values na gusto nating malinang sa kanila. Yung pagiging makabayan, makajos, makakalikasan at makabansa. Kaya nga po nire-revise ang ating panatang makabayan sa mga kaedad ko at sa mga peres na nandyan ngayon. Iba na po ngayon ang ating panatang makabayan. And um, Nagkaroon po tayo ng mga uh, virtual platform to conduct counseling. Alam ko, during the time of pandemic, ay nag-open up din ng mga activity ang inyong mga schools to really have the uh, mental awareness program or health program, mental health program with our learners. And by this time, kung nakikita nyo po yung mga activity natin sa Facebook, uh, the DepEd also introduced the conduct of different sports activity in the school level, in the division level. Katatapos na rin lang po ng ating regional athletic meet na kung saan ay gina ginanap siya sa Dasmarinas Cabide. At magkakaroon tayo ng mga pre-qualifying uh, sports events sa uh, Laguna Province at ang palalong pangbansa sa Marikina City. And aside from that, uh, with this K-12 curriculum, may mga activity rin naman po tayong pinapayagan katulad ng ating mga school press conference, ang ating mga quiz B and talent show. So, di ba? I hope ang inyong paaralan ay sumali sa iba't ibang gawain pang division na na inorganize ng ating uh, si Pops na kung saan si Ma'am ay isa din sa ating mga officers at inorganize din ng DepEd. Uh, if you notice also that in our curriculum sa ating mga subject na entrepreneurship sa ating mga junior high school uh, you will learn also how to sell products di ba? I think may mga subjects sa inyong lesson na kung saan ay you were given the task to advertise the product that you prepared. Tapos magsasell kayo online. Diba dati usya yung mga online selling o natatawa sila mukhang yun ay isa sa activity nila. So another thing is that yung ating mga homeroom uh, guidance activity Isa din sa pinatalakay natin ay yung mga prevention of uh, teenage pregnancy. Yung ating mga um, 
curriculum uh, implementer doon sa ating uh, guidance counseling ay isa sa mga bahagi ng ginaganap or tulong na ibinibigay sa ating mga bata ay how to prepare themselves in the real world. So, the challenging, siyempre yung most challenging and exciting part sa ating mga junior high school and senior high school po ay yung paggagawa nila ng kanilang mga thesis and the time they defend their thesis. O natatawa yung mga senior high school, mahirap ba ang thesis nyo? Anong topic ba ang inyong tinalakay? Na kung saan, I think, sa pagbuo pa lang ng statement of the problem, paano nga ba yung binubuo? Uh, alam ko, yung ibang parents ninyo ay they, they were there to assist you, pero yung iba nagsasabi din na, hindi ko na yata yan alam, yan ay ginawa ko nung college pa ako. Pero bagaman yan ay tapos na, ang exciting part doon ay ang pagdedepensa. Minsan, ang pagdedepend ng thesis ginawa niyo online. Pero alin nga ba ang exciting? Naka-online kayo ng pagdedepensa o kayo ay physical, physically present sa school. At syempre, ang mga hindi matatawarang mga memories and experiences during your work immersion. Uh, di ba? So, yung mga junior high school ngayon, I think they were excited, uh, they are all excited to experience the shared thoughts and knowledges of your senior high school graduates also in the immersion activity. Masarap siya, para ka lang nag-work, para ka na rin, uh, alam mo yon yung some kind of uh, independency. So, marami kayong matututunan naman pagdating sa K-12 curriculum. This graduation ride is also a celebration of a collective effort of the community. Kasi hindi lang naman kayo ang natuto. Learners, let us thank our parents, teachers, and school leaders because you did not meet only the requirement but it is expected that you exceed from the requirement by making your school be proud of you, yung Sawyer Integrated School. Dahil daladala ninyo ang pangalan ng inyong paaralan at kung ano kayo ngayon. Let us also support the vision of our DepEd Secretary because she believes that Filipino are resilient and will overcome many challenges. So, kayo nga nandito ngayon, gagraduate, dahil I know and I believe that you overcome all those learning challenges. Kasi yun lang naman talaga ang problema ninyo. As our Vice President said, and I quote, tayo po ay magiging matatag tungo sa isang bansang makabata at batang makabansa. Ito po ngayon ang tagline ng DepEd. And here it is. This is how it goes. And I hope you acquire what your school and vision to. To have the lots of love, wisdom, and variety or relation to God. Again, congratulations and cap off to all the graduates. Thank you.